WWE's SmackDown vs. Raw for the Wii. Now, before even popping this game in, I found out that the Wii version is actually scaled back from its PS3 and Xbox counterparts. Well, that sucks. I haven't even played the game yet, and already I'm tempted to throw it in the old game shredder. And don't think I won't do it, because I will. Oh yes, I will. Now the first thing you'll come to is the game roster of characters, and since I haven't been watching wrestling for a while, there are a lot of people here I don't know. And of course all the ones I'm really familiar with are locked. Well son of a bitch. And you just know you're going to spend hours on end trying to unlock all the characters, and by the time that happens, you'll probably be sick of playing the game. So after picking the characters available to you, it's time for the intros, and they are incredible. On the way to the ring, from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 260 pounds, Triple H! They did a superb job on these, and it looks absolutely great. And the smoke for The Undertaker? Damn cool. At certain points of the game, I almost felt as if I was watching the real deal. The intros of all the wrestlers are no doubt one of the most important features of a wrestling game, and it took THQ a long time to figure this out, leaving us with tons of shitty wrestling games that preceded this one. During the match, I found the gameplay to be quite enjoyable. Now I've heard a few complaints that the controls aren't perfect, and I've played this game for about 20 hours already, and I personally haven't had any issues with the controls. The moves are easy to perform, and at certain points of the game, they'll even tell you which way to move the controller. Another thing I noticed was that the loading times were very quick. And as you know, there's nothing worse than having to wait for those long ass loading times. But even though I found this game very enjoyable to play, there were a few things that really pissed me off. And one of them was the lack of match settings. In this game, there are only a few type of matches, and they're pretty basic at that. Where the hell's the cage match, hell in a cell, table match, or a buried alive match for that matter? And the hardcore matches end up not even being close to hardcore matches. With only a few chairs being placed around the ring, I fail to see the fun in this. What a crack of shit. You call this hardcore? I couldn't even figure out how to smash the guy through the announcer's table. Oh come on, that table should have broke. Now one feature I always have to try out is the create a wrestler mode. Because let's face it, what fan doesn't want to put themselves in the ring? So after a quick customization, I think I made a wrestler that looks pretty damn close to what I look like. On the way to the ring, from Cleveland, Ohio, Christopher! Wow, it's like almost looking into a mirror. Now, even though they have some great customization features, there is one major ass complaint I have with this mode, and that's when you start designing your wrestler's intro. Of course they give you pages of options to choose from, but you can't see what any of them look like until you fight in a match. What the shit? Why can't they give me the option to view it right then and there? How do I know I'm gonna like it by just looking at it? Ugh, this sucks. Now the career mode in this game is pretty cool, although I'm pretty sure wrestling games in the past had a lot more options to offer, and it just really feels like a downgrade to me. I mean, you can still pick your own fights, go for title shots, and a few other things. But with that being said, it just needs a lot of tweaking and additions. But out of all these features, I still don't understand this option, chat with a diva. Now if you keep messaging a diva, they'll eventually become your valet. Now after choosing this option, I was hoping that the girl would walk down to the ring with me. But that didn't even happen at all. In fact, you still go to the ring by yourself, and besides this message, the divas don't even appear anywhere else in the career mode. So where the hell's my valet? And why do they include such asinine function if nothing worthwhile happens? This game has a lot of pluses and minuses, and I guess you'll have to decide if you think this game is worth plopping $50 down for. Wii owners pretty much got the short end of the stick with this one, and it's very unfortunate to wrestling fans who are wishing for the whole shebang. But even though I think there's a lot of room for improvement, I did find this game very enjoyable to play. So I think I'll just end up keeping this game around. Sorry, Game Shredder. I guess we'll just have to find another game to destroy. Hey, how about Bad Dudes for the NES? Man, this game sucks a major ass when compared to the arcade game. 